Sure, yeah. Uh, I'm Dustin Harris. Uh, I'm a muralist, artist, slash DJ, sculptor, uh, installation artist. My name is Leah Pinsky. I'm an artist and uh, arts educator. This com project was commissioned through the, well, it's now called the Rogers Park Business Alliance, formerly known as DevCorp North. They just changed their name like a month ago. My wife, Leah, and I have been doing uh, work with kids for like the last five years, working with them mostly in schools, or this summer was a camp, uh, murals and painting kind of programs. They were looking for uh, someone or two people, here comes the train, to uh, lead a mural project with kids. Um, and they wanted to be local artists that live sort of near Rogers Park. And uh, Dustin and I have both been active as artists and teachers in this community for a while. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably the biggest project I've, I've done. Uh, to the scale. Uh, the mural is right on the CTA wall. We are holding up the CTA. Uh, you know, it's 2,300 square feet, seven, seven feet, feet tall, tall, by about 330 feet long. feet long. It's a full city block. That would be 2,300 square feet of paint. In terms of painting, this is the largest for sure. It's, it's a lot of space to cover, and the wall is definitely seen uh, better days. It's real, real rough. I compared it to like trying to draw a straight line up and down around the Grand Canyon. <laughs> the kids were part of the whole project from design to painting. We had a six-week camp and we worked with uh, four different groups of 20 kids ages 8 to, thir uh, 8 to 13 and we had one week of design where we had brought in images that we had researched about the history of Rogers Park and they did collage assignments to come up with ways that we could present that history, followed by a week of priming the wall, and then four weeks of painting the wall. And with the camp, we were able to complete about 75% of the mural, and now Dustin and I are finishing up on our own. Uh, we wanted like the mural to kind of be like a, a thematic walk down the street. We wanted it to people to like not just understand it in one spot, but if you started it from left to right, be able to read it and get a message from it. So that's where we chose the phrase connect origins to destinations. But also, you know, the idea of, of that phrase being just know your history to know where you're going, put those, put those, those ideas together and maybe it'll help define something for you or for, for anyone. This is a picture of the Howard Theater actually in the 60s, but it was originally built in the 20s. And Howard Street during that era between like the 20s and the 50s was actually one of the most well-to-do upscale neighborhoods in the city of Chicago. And then on the other side is Ashkenaz Delicatessen, which was on Morse Avenue for also probably 40 years and that left in the 80s. But the thing about Leah and I doing a mural project is um, Sure, we like to incorporate the kids' ideas and the kids, a bunch of the kids' designs, but we also don't really want to make it just, uh, quote, kid art. We want to have an aesthetic that's, you know, exciting and, uh, and unique. So we definitely take pride in doing that. You know, it, it's, it's not your, old, your typical 8- to 13-year-old type of mural, I think. The kids had a great time, and I knew that because sometimes they would, they would walk from the camp every day, um, which was at 20 minutes that way, the school. Sometimes they would just run around the corner. They were only here once a week, so it was always something to look forward to. They got painting experience for the first time. Um, you know, it's a project that they will see have a long-lasting impact in their neighborhood. They were really, really great to work with, fun, energetic, loved working with the kids. We had talked about the importance of Lake Michigan to this neighborhood because of its proximity. And one of the kids did a design with a huge fish. And lake trout is a trout that used to be really in abundance in Lake Michigan. I thought that was great because, you know, nature being represented and, and defined as, as, uh, as it is in this area. Half of this, I think, is working with the kids. You know, it's, it's really important for me, if it's a summer project, to work with kids on a wall this size, if we can get them painting, get them inspired, get them excited about, about color and art, then I know I'm doing my job right.